Hi, Mike here with Canon USA, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Canon Camera Connect app to do some remote control photography and even video with your Wi-Fi enabled Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera. Let's take a look. To photograph birds at my feeder, I've set up an EOS R on a tripod with a 100mm lens. By operating the camera remotely using Canon Camera Connect on my phone, I can get great images without disturbing the birds. And with Canon mirrorless cameras like the EOS R and RP, I can even remotely toggle to capturing video. Let's take a look at how to connect the EOS R to a smartphone for the first time. Press the menu button on the camera, then go over to the function settings, which looks like a wrench icon. Then go to the fifth sub-menu section, which will bring you to the wireless communication settings. Select the Wi-Fi settings. Then tap Wi-Fi and enable it. Press the set button. Now, tap the menu button. Select the Wi-Fi function. Now the camera asks you to nickname the camera. Have some fun with the name if you're so inclined. For today, I'm going to stick with the OSAR. Tap menu when you are done. Now the camera asks you to select the Wi-Fi function that you want to use. We want the smartphone setting for using either a phone or a tablet. I'll just call it a device from here on. Now we will register our device with the camera. To do this, we need the Canon Camera Connect app on our device. You can use the appropriate QR code for your type of device to automatically get the software. If you've already downloaded it, select Do Not Display. The camera now makes its own Wi-Fi network and shows you that name and password. Now, go to your device and select the camera's Wi-Fi name and enter the camera's password. The camera will then instruct you to start the Canon Camera Connect software on your device. After the Camera Connect software starts up, the camera will ask you to confirm the connection. Great job! We're getting to the fun part! Now you will see this screen on your camera. You can hit the menu button a couple of times to go back to your normal screen view. On your device, you will see a view like this. You have a wide range of controls at your fingertips. You can operate the camera, look at images on the storage card, and even transfer the images to your device. When I select Remote Live View Shooting with my EOS R, I get this control screen. In the still frame image of the control screen, you can see that I have access to most of the major controls of the camera. I can even select the camera's autofocus point right on the Live View image, or select the button to switch to video capture. Once I'm done photographing, I can remote check my images to see if I have captured what I want. I can even double tap the image to check for critical focus and detail. If you'd like to learn some more with Canon, be sure to subscribe to the Canon USA YouTube channel.